Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Lucille. They say there's a market for anything, so thought I'd try to clean up my property. All sizes of rocks, stones, bricks, etc. that have accumulated whilst tidying up my property. Come grab as much or as little as you desire. I will even load the rocks onto your trailer for you. Located here. If you pay me, can you deliver any rocks under 300 grams to my house please? Thank you. Look forward to hearing from y'all. How about I deliver them through your windows? I'd prefer outside. Thank you. The fact that they're one, giving them away for free, and two, willing to help load it does not mean that they're going to weigh out all the rocks to give you under 300 grams on top of paying you and delivering them. This next one is by Samburger112. About me? About you. Must like sushi and tacos. Must like watching sports. Prefer you ride motorcycles. Must ski or snowboard. Absolute must be able to drive. Must like camping. Must like going to breweries. Prefer you like golf. Must not snore. Must not vacuum early on weekend mornings. Must like trying new things. About me. Enjoy back tickles. Not picky. Unusual skill. Can wake up at 5 a.m. on weekdays and 5 p.m. on weekends. You say you're not picky, but yet you're listing a lot of musts in your list. I get that it's okay and it's actually perfectly healthy to know exactly what you want in a partner, but you can't claim you're not picky if you're being picky. This next one is from Maybe I Don't Care One. $60, double XL dog crate. Hi there, is this still available? Yes, it's still available. Take 30? Lowest I'd take would be $50. 40. No thank you. Okay, 50, but you gotta bring it to me. No thank you. How is it that you want me to pay for 50, but you want me to come get it? I'm asking $60 and expect someone to come get it. $50 is already accepting less than what I want. Okay, 60 and bring it to me. If you're close to me, sure, but you'd have to be really close. Where are you located? It baffles me that this person honestly thinks if they offer less than what the person is asking that the person would be inclined to deliver to them. The thought logic of beggars still confuses me today. This next one is by Thunderbolts99 MCU. I'm a guy who really loves photography, but my family can't support me to buy my gear. Is there anyone willing to help? <laughs> Did you ever think that maybe your family is not in a position to support you with your photography endeavor? Maybe start small and work your way up. I know that's not what you want to hear, but thems be the facts. This next one is from Space Cat in Orbit. Are you a coach, editor, publisher, or published author? Would you like a serious project to spend some time on? I'm looking for an unpaid, experienced volunteer, no compensation, to coach me in editing and publishing my completed manuscript. This position is remote, unpaid, and would be on a free, volunteer basis. You must have fiction, publishing, editing experience to be considered as an applicant. A serious commitment to completing the book in a timely manner is expected. Your contribution will be added to the acknowledgments and or dedication. The book is approximately 65,000 words. It is complete, but needs editing, proofreading, coaching, and formatting. I've received a feedback-based rejection letter from the publisher editor stating that the idea was interesting, but the writing had some common mistakes and could use some work. The feedback was very constructive and helpful, but I need more than a one-page email to put the feedback into action and make it a finished work that can be published. Hence, experience is required for consideration. Qualifications. Experience as a writing coach, editor, publisher, published author, or published English teacher. Expertise in editing or publishing fiction books. Expertise in writing preferred. References or information confirming your credentials and experience will be requested. Expectations. Volunteer, unpaid, uncompensated book writing editing. Commitment of time to work manuscript into a finished product. 
mostly email contact, some phone possible, not a smartphone, one position available, only one person will be chosen. Goal, take 65,000 word manuscript from raw to published. I don't really know anybody who would take their time, effort, and energy and put it forth turning your raw manuscript so it can be published, especially when it's 100% uncompensated outside of the potential acknowledgement. This next one is by Duval Sanitarium. NYPD Lakeside opened at 5 o'clock today for anyone in need of Thanksgiving dinner. The food is free. Send me the address. They are not offering takeout. That's awful. They're offering free food. What is awful about that? What's awful is the fact that you're complaining about the fact that they're giving away a free Thanksgiving dinner. This next one is from Faith Plus One. Posted a trampoline on here the other day and Facebook. Free Collect had many requests. The first person I waited for a reply for 30 minutes, which I thought was fair, but got no reply until 2.30 p.m. the next day. I gave it away to the next requester as she was not replying. Yesterday she replied saying I had let her daughter down as she was giving the trampoline to her for Christmas as she's disabled. I've ruined her Christmas and she was not pleasant in her messages. Anyway, I've since blocked her and it has found a new home. Can't believe the check on people. How long do they expect you to wait for a reply? How I ruined her Christmas, I don't know, cause if I didn't list the item, she wouldn't have had it anyway. Sorry for the rant, some people make me so mad, then blame you when doing them a favor. Welcome to Choosing Beggars 101, where no matter what you do, it will never be good enough for a beggar. And yes, it's kinda like what you were saying, how long do you have to wait? They expect you to wait indefinitely. This next one is by Negative Nuances. Why does collabing with an animator include paying them when some don't really want to pay? I'm trying to make an anime YouTube series and I find it hard to find an animator because they usually ask for money, which personally I don't want to do as I don't give and or don't know how to give money digitally as I only spend money in real life situation, not bragging by saying that. And therefore, I have to try to teach myself how to level up my drawing skills and trying to animate, which is really tough and hard for me. Probably because I hold my pencil differently to a normal person. And when I ask people if they could help me on this project, they usually ask for money, which I say, sorry, but I don't really do that. And then they see that as rude or scamming, as that's not what I meant. Well, if you're asking for a service, but you're not willing to pay, you're saying that you don't pay, but you have no problem asking for the service, how do you not see that that's actually pretty rude, in an attempt for you to scam the person you're getting a service from? This next one is from Siddles97. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m., 5 p.m., at my home, meals ready. I work from home as well. Pay every two weeks, $250 to $300, $25 to $30 a day, depending on experience. That's like $4 an hour. It's almost like they have the mentality that just because they work from home and all of the meals are ready, that the babysitter themselves won't be doing much work, which I think we all know is false. This next one is by Not a PR Guy UFS. Lenovo Laptop, 600KR. 350. 600 and you can have it. It's good price. 400. Please. Not for me. Give me free. Please. Please give me. Yeah, sure. Just tell me where you live and I'll be there in 20 minutes. Here's my address. Should I also pay you for taking it from me? I would have loved to see the response because I can almost guarantee the beggar would say yes, please pay me too. You know this person has dealt with choosing beggars before to ask that. And our final one is from throwaway name 12341. Well, I'm currently house hunting. I saw a house last week and opted to make an offer for the asking price. My realtor contacted me today saying my offer was rejected. I asked him if it was because someone outbid me and his exact words were, no, you were the only offer that came in over the weekend, but the seller is a bit odd. He was offended you didn't offer more than the asking price. So, I guess I will look for a different house. 
I think that's a first that I've seen someone wanting in fact more than what they were asking for. It's greed on a whole new level, but I hope this seller ends up getting less than what they're asking for in the future. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.